Hey, what's up? It's James Canzanelli, your affiliate hero. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the power of social media marketing combined with affiliate marketing. But before we do, if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe. You'll get many more videos just like this when it comes to internet marketing, affiliate marketing, email marketing, social media, passive income, and all that other great stuff. Now, you will be getting a lot of videos like this with a nice little whiteboard with nothing on it. And don't worry, YouTube isn't messing up. This is just, you know, um, we're going to be doing the whiteboard presentation and let's pretty much get right into it. So the cool thing about Facebook marketing is that it can literally allow you to leverage a ton of free traffic or paid traffic. If that's going to be your thing. And to really start building your online business, your affiliate marketing business, you can build an email list, you can build a tribe, uh, you know, generate, figure out your niche, uh, build a following. Let's start off with one of the coolest, uh, most popular social media outlets there's going to be, which of course is Facebook, which pretty much everyone has. Heck, people's like grandparents have it, even like dogs and cats and pets have it. Like everyone is on Facebook, almost everyone, you know, a large amount of people, more than enough in your niche to build an online business, uh, you know, that you could even dream of, just massive. But the cool thing is that. You can get started for free. I actually got started for free online. What I did was a ton of YouTube videos. I'll get into YouTube. Uh, and then what I did was Facebook fan pages. And I just grew organically using uh, action and work. Built it up to around like 80, 90,000 people. And then, of course, there was the Facebook slap. And like I lost the majority of my income. I know, a great story to get into uh, social media and affiliate marketing. But the fact of the matter is that it, it doesn't matter. There's always a way to make it work. One way to make it work, let's just say, is going to be groups. Now, another great big benefit of social media and affiliate marketing, any type of marketing, is that you can pick and choose which social media platform you want to use. Like for me personally, Facebook is my least favorite social media platform, probably next to Reddit. I don't think I ever go to Reddit. I at least have a Facebook profile, but I don't like talking to people. I feel like it's just a waste of time. I don't like arguing with people I don't know. I'd rather be doing work enjoying myself or like doing work and Facebook does not qualify for any of those. Me personally, some people on the other hand are just born to talk all day long. They love connecting with people. They love chatting with people. They love controversy. They love debates. Uh, so someone like that might be great with Facebook because what you can actually do is leverage Facebook groups. And this isn't just going to be your own. You can obviously build your own up that way. But what a lot of people you see do, or at least I see do, is going into Facebook groups where there's already thousands upon thousands of people, providing value, and naturally people are going to start you know, paying attention to what you have to say, especially when you're very consistent upon that. What you can also do is actually start building your own group and you can even put like a link to your profile. So when you start posting in these groups and people like what you have to say, they're eventually going to go into your group where once again, you can kind of build your own by leveraging what other people have already done, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So that's one way to get a lot of free traffic too is going to be, I guess you could call it attraction marketing. So I'm just going to put ATT, MKT, attraction marketing. Once again, this is going to be also where you leverage a lot of Facebook groups, but what you can also do is leverage that into your own profile. We're always posting pretty much things that your niche is going to be looking forward to or looking for more information about, whether it's affiliate marketing, wealth, weight loss, building muscle. You see this all the time. Anytime you go to someone's profile, probably not gonna be mine. I don't think I've posted on Facebook in like three years, but people who do this well are always talking about what their targeted audience is looking for, how to make money, how to generate income, how to make commissions, how to uh, you know lose body fat, how to get six pack apps, how to build up a business, whatever it's going to be. And by default, when you post a lot, people once again start liking what you have to say. They might join your group, they might follow you, they might friend you, they might ask for help, they might buy your courses, they might ask for recommendations when it comes to affiliate products. Whatever it's going to be, that's another great way when it comes to that. Okay, so then there's three. I'm not gonna really dive deep into this, but I've done a few videos about this. I had a case study I did, I think it was like 10K or 8K in a 10 days or something like that, uh, but paid ads. Okay, everyone knows how massive Facebook advertising is, uh, you know, how targeted it is, how great it can be when you have the right offer to the right audience and so on and so forth. But there's no denying the fact that uh, combining a lot of these things here, whether you want to get started for free or whether you want to invest money, it's going to be up to you. And if you like Facebook, if you want to use Facebook, these are all great ways of building up a tribe, building up your affiliate marketing, whatever it's going to be and so on and so forth. And that's just one example. Let's move to another one. Okay, I think I'll do three. There's a lot of them out there, but uh, YouTube. YouTube is the first, uh, I want to say, social media platform that I got started. If you want to call it that, yeah, it's a social media platform. <clears throat> it's one of my favorites because I love doing videos. I don't mind being in front of a camera. I don't mind talking. 
And just for me, it, I wouldn't say it came naturally because I remember I had a lot of trouble when it came to getting in front of the camera at the start. Hated the sound of my voice. I remember listening to like, I probably when I was really young, I left a, when they had answering machines, <laughs> what was this, like 1990s or something, uh, on my own, you know, I was at my friend's house, left the message on my own answering machine. When I came home, I listened to my voice. I'm like, do I really sound like that? Like, I just could not get over the sound of my voice. So I wouldn't say it came off naturally when it came to doing YouTube videos, but the more you do it, the more comfortable you get with it and so on and so forth. But this is a great aspect because of videos. <clears throat> I'm sure you've seen, um, you know, creators who have millions upon millions of subscribers uh, then you have a lot of people who have tons of subscribers who don't know how to monetize them and so on and so forth. But the fact of the matter is that YouTube has a ton of traffic. I mean, goodness, it's probably in like the top 10 most visited websites in the world. I think at one point it was maybe three or something. I think Pornhub is number one. I don't know how I know that. Just throwing it out there in case you wanted to know. Someone might have dethroned the champion, but uh, regardless of that, it's great because it's similar to or pretty much is search engine optimization. When you put up a video, and of course, when you can rank it better, you get higher towards the top, and that's how you can obviously draw in those views. Of course, a lot of people like using clickbait and all these crazy viral videos. If you ever kind of log into YouTube and you see these crazy videos where like the icons are all weird and there's like circles and arrows and like you'll never guess what happens after this person falls in the water, oh my God, <laughs> and they get like 20 million views and they're like the stupidest videos ever but you know what uh, that's the type of stuff that people like you know the traffic is there and the cool thing about it obviously you can monetize it in multiple ways you can build a list you can send out to affiliate links you can do adsense which i was never a big fan of but that's something you can do and so on and so forth when it comes to youtube also you can do ads you know google adwords if you want to call it that on, in front of videos, during videos, and so on and so forth. And that's, once again, another great way, whether it's free or paid, to adver advertise on YouTube. Let's move to one more because I've had a lot of, uh, I don't know if you'd call it success, but I've, I've put a lot into it. I think my Instagram is like 181,000. I stopped growing it just because I you know, I was focusing on other things, but I know how to grow Instagram accounts. I know how to do all that fun stuff. Once again, this was pretty much all free. So let's put like posting. I remember I joined like one of those engagement groups. So maybe that was like 90 bucks, you know, but aside from that, you can do those for free. You get a bunch of people gathered up together and you help push up your content towards the top. So it gets more organic, but that is pretty much posting. It's very similar to videos. It's very similar to Facebook. It's like your post in Facebook, you're posting like value. You're posting helpful stuff that's related to your audience. YouTube, you're doing the same thing. Like with a video that's depending on the type of video, it might be review, might be a demo, might be an over the shoulder, might be a step-by-step. Uh, with Instagram, it's probably a little bit more straightforward. It's just a post unless you're doing videos and you know, it's usually a helpful quote or maybe it's a tip. Maybe it's like a, you know, click the link in the bio. Maybe it's a story swiping up, whatever it's going to be. The fact of the matter, it's very cheap and easy to do. Like anyone with a brain can go on Instagram, figure out how to use it and post stuff on there. Once again, you'll see all these accounts with millions upon millions of people. Uh, it really depends on how they're monetizing it, if they're going to be making money with it. But the fact of the matter, once again, it's a very great opportunity for leveraging affiliate marketing. And of course, you could just do paid ads. I believe if you wanted to do uh, Instagram ads, I haven't done any of those, but you would just run it on, uh, you know, the Facebook platform and you would do like uh, Instagram for, you know, where you want your ads to run. But the fact of the matter is these are only three social media platforms. There's many more of them out there, even some like... You could even count Quora maybe as social media. That's kind of like a Yahoo Answers slash forum, but heck, I mean, I've made plenty of commissions just by posting in there a bunch of times, helping people, and every now and then I drop an affiliate link. There's just so many ways to get started. So when anytime someone says like, oh, I don't have any money, it's like blah, blah, blah. It's the same old thing. I started off on unemployment. I didn't have much money at all. I had to make it work. So what I did is just leverage, you know, Facebook fan pages. Now you can leverage groups. You can leverage your profile. You can leverage videos and posting specific types of content that's SEO optimized. You can utilize Instagram. You can post to get organic traffic. You can obviously talk to people. You can DM others. You can connect with them. You can search via hashtag to see who's interested in the types of stuff you have. It's really going to come down to like how much you want it and how much effort you want to put into it. That's the cool thing with social media. If you don't have money, fine. Utilize one of the organic ways of, you know, building up your tribe when it comes to affiliate marketing and then go from there. The fact of the matter is that 
the opportunity for growth, for building, for inter- affiliate marketing, internet marketing, making commissions is still huge. I don't see that going anywhere unless like, even if they made like Facebook and YouTube and Instagram paid to use, which I don't think they ever will, but you know, they could for some odd reason. Like, what are they going to charge anyway? Look at all the people that are on there. They make their money, you know, by selling ads. I don't personally think it'll ever happen, although it is a possibility. But even if that did happen, like still, you're not paying very much to utilize and get in front of all this traffic. Heck, maybe if people did start paying for social media, it would make them actually appreciate the value of the traffic there. Hey, that would be at least a good way to look at it, right? But either way, hope I gave you some insight when it comes to this. There's a lot of ways to make affiliate marketing work. It's usually the person themselves that has to do the work to make it work. Does that make sense? Awesome. Okay. okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm James Kenzanal. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see some more videos when it comes to affiliate marketing and all this great artwork. I mean, look at this. I should sign this right here. Wait for it. There we go. And then like number one, a work of art. I know. And aside from that, if you want a free affiliate marketing gift slash cheat sheet, be sure to check the link down below. You'll get a nice little uh, cheat sheet of a ton of recurring slash lifetime offers that you can promote to make passive and lifetime commissions. That's about it. I'm done now for here. James Kenzanella, and I'll talk to you soon.